all so by the time you guys see this video I will already be in LA like people who follow me or people who are close to me know how much I love LA so just so you guys know I haven't flown in about two and a half years so ever since December 2019 to Tokyo I haven't been on an airplane and it's just so so nice to know that finally I will be taking the airplane and I want to really document this process you know just preparing planning and packing and flying to LA from Taipei so I will be flying next Thursday and by the time you guys see the video I will already be in Los Angeles so as you guys can see behind me I have two luggages I will actually be going to three states so I will be flying to LA and then I will be going to somewhere else where I will document all of it it's gonna be a three week trip so the other day I actually wrote down some of the things I need to bring and I really want to share some kind of like tips if you are flying from Taipei to LA or just in general basically I literally created a Google Doc created a Google map with all the safe locations I want to go and basically I have my itinerary and all that so you know when I'm there it's it's not like I have to be like oh where should we go where do I go you know I don't really like to waste time you know especially two weeks in LA um, I really want to make the most out of it so basically one thing I needed to do um, and that I went to yesterday was I got my driver license so international driver license is super necessary because you know I my US um, driver license expired and I'm not American so I definitely need to bring my driver license so make sure you go to the Ministry of Transportation and Communications and I got mine this was this is valid for three years so I actually needed to get one because it's been three years since I've been back to the States. So um, this only cost a 250 NT, which is equivalent to about eight USD. So cheap, you should definitely go get it. Next, what I need to bring is make sure I have my little COVID record, COVID vaccination record. Some places still require um, people to show that proof. And especially I'm a non-US citizen, I definitely need to bring this because if I don't have, if I'm not fully vaccinated, I actually cannot enter the US. And one thing I really want to let you guys know is that basically I was browsing on the website the other day and I saw someone who posted this and this is basically the Wi-Fi for T from T-Mobile. And basically I um, purchased it for 25 days and it basically comes with a SIM card and it was about 1,288 NT. So I would say it's about, I guess like around 40, 45 US dollars around that ish. And basically it comes with this. So I actually put the activation um, date for July 15th. So once I'm there, I literally just need to use this right and they even provide this which is so nice of them and then i can just use it with my iphone sim card and then 25 days so it's super good if you are going to the us and you want to have like unlimited data then i definitely recommend strongly recommend you to get this card before you fly so the reason why i want i really want a sim card instead of just kind of like going to my um, phone company and saying that I want data is because I want a US number because when I'm in LA I don't know if I need to call someone you know for example the restaurants and all that I want to have a US um, number available so it's just easier for me you know for communication booking purposes and all that so that's why I highly recommend you guys get this um, service and I will link it in the description box so these are the three things that I highly highly recommend you to do um, because you know you don't want to go there and feel like oh you know I didn't get this I need to figure out now you know just to kind of like save time and be efficient during your travel I think that you know that's like the best tip is to literally have things it's better to be over prepared than you know like under prepared so now let's pack with me i really want to make sure i have everything ready and i'm gonna go through my checklist and i'm gonna show you guys how i pack and how i organize and just to show you guys the um 
essentials that I'm gonna bring and I'm also gonna bring some gifts for friends. Let's start packing. So one thing I want to show you guys and share with you guys is a product. This is Shane Mitchell's brand, which I got um, three years ago. This is called Base, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And anyways, so what is good about this is that, you know, during my travel anywhere, whether it's local trips, international um, travels, especially if you're going for a longer duration, then I highly recommend a bag like this just because it can fit all your skincare products and your beauty products. It even has a section where you can put your brushes, which is like super, super nice because, you know, keep it separate, keep it clean. And it's just really nice. And it, it even comes with a mirror, which I did not open because I have my own mirror, but it even comes with a mirror. So I've actually only used this, I think like twice, just because as I mentioned, I haven't flown in freaking ages, like international travels, but I definitely plan to bring this on this trip and i'm really gonna show i really want to show you guys um what i'm gonna bring and i think before that I'm, i want to sanitize it a little bit okay so now it's much cleaner and i'm gonna start packing my skincare products so, you know, the sun is huge and super, super, super strong in LA. So definitely need to bring a sunscreen. And I got this last week and this is called the Innisfree Tone Up Watering Sunscreen with an SPF of 50 plus. So I really think that, you know, carrying and putting on sunscreen is crucial like every day. And in the past, I'm going to be honest, I haven't been putting on sunscreen, but I think it is time to start putting it on every day. I'm gonna show you guys all the essentials that I'll be bringing with me on this trip. Oh my gosh, guys, I found more samples from Innisfree they give you a ton of samples whenever you purchase with them and i think i'm gonna bring this this is pore clay masks so i am gonna add this in gotta bring my contact lenses and i want to show you guys this brand this is this brand is called pega vision and basically i've been using the flend me um collection and i got the kinako roll and this is basically colored contact lens and i really like this because it's one day and i can just dump it away when i finish and what i like about this brand is that they are very natural i will be wearing it in la so you guys can definitely see in my vlog i love this mist and i am definitely gonna buy more this time when i go to la this is absolutely amazing and smells really really nice and it just makes your whole face like a lot more hydrating so a lot of people have actually asked me what I use for under eye and I use this brand called Etude House. This is a Korean brand and I got it in different colors and I just apply them under my eyes and it kind of gives that shine and glow. So I highly recommend this. It's totally not um, pricey and it's just like really nice and you can actually use it for a long time. My concealer, this is my all time favorite. And then this is the brow pen that I'm using. So prior to Innisfree brow pen, I actually used to use um, Anastasia, but you know, I swapped to this after I moved back to Asia. I also have this blush from Glossier. And I believe that's it. Oh yeah, I have to bring this. This is for my lashes, my lashes comb, 
and that's pretty much it for my makeup bag just put my floss and also my cotton swab and I am gonna now pack my brushes so I actually don't use a lot of brushes I have both these brushes from Innisfree this is basically for my um, foundation and this is for my blush so yeah I am ready to go with my makeup and skincare essential so this is very very packed but see it fits everything highly recommended so this is my shampoo and I'm gonna list everything I basically introduced in this video in the description box and then we have the conditioner and then I have my body wash so I'm gonna just carry these three even though it says that they have everything in the apartment I just really want to bring them in case another lazy afternoon the clouds covered in gray so the other day I went to Don Don Donkey and these are basically for bath and the apartment that we booked has basically a bathtub so I'm gonna obviously clean the bathtub first and then I'm gonna use this so cute I'm also gonna bring a candle makeup remover wipes alcohol wipes so these are some of my sunnies and glasses I'm gonna bring probably two to three pairs I'm definitely gonna bring this this is from Gucci and then this one I'm gonna bring this from Mykita and then hmm not really sure which one to bring probably this one this is from where is this from again oh this is from St. Lauren YSL so I'm gonna bring this schoolyard bag and this is a bag that I purchased in LA three summers ago I absolutely love this size because it fits so much and seriously I love this color it's my favorite color red and definitely gonna go check out Goyard this time in LA so the other bag I'm gonna bring is Lindy and this is gonna be the bag that I bring to the airport because it fits a lot and there's a lot of documentation and all that jazz to bring so perfect size so I'll also be bringing these two supreme mini bags these are great for just putting your phone, cards, and you know, like napkin if you're going to groceries or you know, I brought them to hiking and for walks. These are really, really nice and very portable and very light. So I'm definitely going to bring these too. So this is going to be the other bag that I will bring. This is the small size book tote bag and this is actually my newest purchase. And yeah, it actually fits a lot more than you think. So this is gonna be with me in LA. So I'm gonna bring this cap. This is a MLB Gucci collaboration. I absolutely love this color. So I'm gonna bring that. And then I'm gonna bring my LA MLB. This has a Mickey Mouse. Um, cap definitely gonna be really hot so I want to have some caps and then my bucket hat from Prada and then this is totally an essential for like beach photos which I'm gonna go to the beach a lot in LA and this is from Helen Kaminsky so yeah um, basically I am kind of not packing like a, in a really efficient way because I want you guys to kind of like see the items I'm bringing and then later I definitely will not pack it in this manner I'm gonna make sure to organize it and to make sure I'm being efficient with my space so one tip I have is for those clothes that are kind of like you know it's fine to not really care about the shape of them basically I would say to really like fold it and then what you can do is save space by putting it into like for example this bucket hat so clothes like these you can just basically fold them and then what you can do is 
roll them up and then you can maintain the shape and then you can just fold them so i don't know if you guys can tell after i um curled up a few um pieces i have freed up more space and honestly i wouldn't recommend you guys to roll up all your shirts i would say for example like tank top um gym attire those will be better so as you guys can see i have stuffed some things in my dior bag and you know it saves a ton of space because as you guys can see these are not very small objects so you know it saves up space and it maintains it helps the bag maintain its shape 